about the technology aspect moving forward because the way that I understand it, well, let's compare it to like an iPhone. So the, what, what's happened with iPhones is they haven't gotten cheaper. They've just gotten better. Do you think the future of solar is that it will get it will get better but stay about the same cost? Or do you think it's going to continue to get cheaper? What do you think? It will continue to get cheaper. Um, all the trend lines are there. So let, let me give you an example. Um, one of the drivers for uh, the cost for solar today is the cost of capital, if you can imagine. When anybody finances a solar lease, and, and in California, about 80% of all solar purchased residential in California is actually leased. <laughs> it's not purchased. <laughs> Yeah. So very few people actually buy systems for cash. Uh, in order to finance a lease, that financing cost is, com- is, is coming down. So uh, about two weeks ago, we saw the first uh, securitization of a residential solar lease portfolio in the history of the industry. Uh, that's, that's, that's really driving down the cost of capital, uh, the cost of borrowing in order to fi- uh, finance a lease. When that happens, we can then pass those savings on to homeowners. So now is it, that's a Wall Street thing, right? I mean, Correct. They're basically issuing what is essentially bonds. Is it's it cool? exactly it's rated bonds. Okay, they're it's rated, rated bonds. bonds. That's going to make it fantastically simpler for people to get financing and keep rates low. Uh, and if that happens, that should only mean that more people will be able to get solar. At a Absolutely. Price. The other innovation that I see happening is is in the bundled services. So it's not just going to be solar uh, panels on your rooftop. It's going to be energy efficiency and energy monitoring in your house. Uh, period, so that uh, you'll be able to actually control the, your your demand for energy off of large appliances, from uh, uh, from air conditioner loads, as an example, uh, to other big draws of energy in the household. So you'll be able to better manage what you consume. You'll be consuming it, uh, sorry, you'll be producing it on your own rooftop. Ultimately, you'll be storing it in a battery that sits next to the house at the same time, so you can actually better manage your 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 uh, purchases from the grid. And at the same time, you're going to be buying that system off the Internet. <laughs> so right now, most solar in the United States is sold door-to-door. Think about it. It's, it's this multi-billion dollar industry that is growing in leaps and bounds, and it's sold typically door-to-door, which is not scalable, is extremely expensive. So what happens when you reduce that cost that of door-to-door selling? That's more savings for the homeowner. That's lower prices. And hopefully better margins for the solar companies so that they can continue to grow. Yep, although you'll see a lot of that passed on to the homeowner. So, for instance, the, another thing we'll be launching next year is our first online portal. Uh, so a homeowner will actually be able to come to our site and buy solar on their own in a very simplistic format. We're in the process of bundling that together with major major consumer brands. Wow. Well, you can tell he knows his stuff. That's David Field. He's the president and CEO of One Roof Energy, OneRoofEnergy.com. We have more with him coming up on the San Diego Spotlight. You know, it's hard to believe, but... In 1998, a guy told me that one day we would all be holding little computers in our hands and we would be able to get on the Internet with them and we'd be able to use them as a phone and they'd be a computer as well. And that came true, too. More coming up. ESPN 1700. Be right back. 